Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So today is very exciting. I'm finally going to be talking about the expansion to Lego City that we've all been wanting and hoping for and planning for. Um, I have had some comments over the last few months where people were kind of suggesting like, oh, if you have space issues, why don't you do a third level to your city? And I was always kind of dismissive of it. I think I was just a bit worried. Also, you know, like having more space is quite enabling, but evidently having no space doesn't stop me anyway, so I may as well create it. So here I am doing the work. So I actually installed this shelf a little while ago. You obviously saw me buy the bits that I needed for it in my previous vlog. So I installed the shelf a little while ago. So um, I did it in the evening, which is why the footage is a bit dark. So I've been kind of waiting uh, until I had time and daylight to show you properly. So I'll go back in time first to show you the footage of when I installed it. And then I will go back to present me and I will show you what it looks like now and my plans for it. Right, to implement the third level, I have been experimenting with potentially using a brick build pillar. So this is mostly snot bricks and then they have plates on the sides and then plates over the top of those breakages. Not everywhere yet, just because I haven't got enough bricks, but I'm just going to test out if this is going to hold the weight. I'm assuming it will just because this, when I tried it, held enough weight because basically the weight is coming from the top. So because Lego is fantastic with bearing weight from the top, that's its strength, so it's fine. Um, but obviously I just wanted to make sure because a lot of weight is going to sit on that pillar I had to reinforce this quite a lot. So this is the first test. Let's do this. So excuse the mess and the bad qu camera quality because I've put it on the wide angle lens and that doesn't have the best quality. But as you can see, it's very easily holding its weight. What it's not good for is sideways movement, as you can see, um, nor like up and down movement. Like it moves a lot with that. However, top down, it's so, so sturdy. Also, it's like, it's flush with, we haven't got a spirit level, but I put some Lego on it and it didn't roll at all. It just like stayed flat. So basically, this is an option. Obviously, it's a bit scary. The benefit of this is that the pillar is attached to the floor here. So basically, it's attached to Lego. Um, and not to the top. However, I could have an actual wooden leg here, which would be roughly the same width, but it would be um, only attached to the top and not at the bottom. So inevitably it's gonna be a bit wonky whatever I choose to do. Luckily, England is not prone to um, earthquakes or anything like that. So that's not really something I have to bear in mind per se. What I'd probably do to stop the um, bit of wood from moving a lot is, I'd probably put some of this um, white tag on here. So like there is hardly any move, uh, movement possible on this end, um, which I've already done for this, which is already kind of making it look really professionally secured. This was very movable as well before. And then potentially we can like do something here to like attach this together as well. But considering this is being supported by a Lego built pillar, that's very exciting. Also the benefit of this being a Lego supported pillar is I can now um, attach bricks and make this look pretty and maybe even like design some little clouds to sit here and like basically you can just make it look so much prettier which is really exciting. So here goes, Hogwarts is back in place. The plan is to finish these unfinished uh, edges with like tape at some point. My dad's really good at that um, and I generally make a mess of it so I'm gonna wait till my dad is here in order to finish that off because these edges are finished, there's always one unfinished edge and the other unfinished edge is here. So dad will hopefully help me finish those up nicely so they're all nice and white. And it basically just looks like the Calyx unit has like a little tiny edge at the top. Um, you couldn't actually, if that was all finished, um, you can't actually tell that I've added a shelf from this side. So that's really nice. Um, hasn't really made a difference to Hogwarts. Obviously, it's very like empty there now. I think I may move the screw to here so I still have my sister's painting. Um, and then here we have the new addition. So it does kind of cut a little bit into um, the space for Ninjago City, but it was always going to happen a little bit, to be honest. Um, basically, what I'll do is I'm going to add base plates. I think this is 
pretty much exactly three base plates so we'll see how much will fit on so it's three base plates like this and then um also three 16 by 32 so it's a little bit deeper than this one which is only one base plate and um eight in front also i'm gonna see if there's a way that i can add some lights to the tops of the shelves so it's gonna look a bit better so this obviously gives you a bit of an idea of what it looks like so we have some lights at the bottom, but any other modules aren't lit up. And because we now have that shelf, obviously that does mean that it's much darker there again. So I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do about that. But all of a sudden we have so much more space. Yay! Alright, so if you walk into the room, you see straight away that something has changed. Then you walk around and then you can see the shelves as planned. Let me switch to the wide angle. So I am really, really happy with the way this turned out. And the thing that I'm most excited about, which is definitely going to be updated as time goes on, but the way this is supported is with actual Lego. So I was really impatient. I had the pieces to go on top, but I didn't have the pillar to kind of support it. And I wanted to install it and see what it would look like. And I decided to try and see if I could build a pillar out of Lego. So I was inspired by the episode of Lego Masters where they build bridges that hold weight. If you take the plates off this, this is mostly snot bricks and then normal bricks together and then plates over the top. So it can't really move sideways, it can't really move up and down. So it's really quite sturdy. I have added a little bit of white tack at the top tiles just to stop the plate from moving over the plate, um, just to stop the shell from moving over the top of the plates. Um, this way it's obviously stuck to it. So that kind of helps with that. But I have a shelf for the city supported by Lego itself, which also means that what I can do is maybe add some more of these flying scooters to it. I can maybe attach a fake cloud to it. Like, and I'm actually really pleased with how this looks. The plan is to obviously like change all of these plates, the colors that I want. So for now, I've kind of put this kind of stuff on top of the shelf. This is definitely not there to stay. I just kind of had to put something there. It's just there until I decide what to do with, including the um, girl's bathroom, the basilisk, which I made eat the sword. Um, and all the other bits that I currently don't have a home for. I've got my uh, street band Daleks that are just playing the piano here. So that's kind of the top of the shelf. So the plan is, for now anyway, because I'm sure this will change. I've heard rumours of a double VIP weekend, which may be happening in July, the 12th to the 18th. So that's kind of the rumours I've heard. Obviously not confirmed, just rumours. If that is true, I will be purchasing the police station modular which is the one that's out that I haven't got yet so that would be the last one that's currently being released by Lego that I haven't got um, which also will mean that I'll probably move the bookshop that's sitting next to my ramen shop um, to go on top of the new shelves. Now you will be wondering what am I planning to put in that space next to the ramen shop I guess you'll have to just wait and see, but a plan does exist for that. I'm also going to be maybe mocking this house so I can temporarily have it in the city. I don't know how long it will last, but I kind of want to include it for a little bit. I'm planning on maybe a little park area. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully at some point I'll own like a Ninjago City expansion that I can include, but there is lots of stuff that I would like to include into the city to kind of make it feel more um, like just as busy as kind of like the bottom layer does. So that's all in the plans. So that's kind of the really, really exciting city update that we have to share today. So that was like a super, super quick update on like what's happening with the city, but I really wanted to take you guys along because I don't want to like keep the secret. I've just been so excited about this expansion for a while now and I just needed to share it with you guys. So if you have any suggestions as to what to do with the space, let me know. Obviously lots of plans in the city. If you want to know the depth of the shelf is a base plate and a half. So, and three base plates wide. So that's quite a good amount of space. Like that's at least three modulars, like two modulars and a park. And obviously there is the half a base plate as well that we could have a park. We could have a side, bigger site walk. We could have some sort of thing in front as well. So let me know what you want me to do with the space. If you have some fantastic suggestions, I'm super, super open for it because obviously my bottom level is connected by the train and the road. The top level is connected by 
the sort of um, the cycle path that goes along. So what am I going to put at the top level? Let me know. Should it just be flying scooters? Let me know. <laughs> so yes, I will be sharing any updates to the city, obviously, as I go along. Super excited to take you along on this journey and I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!